Hi, I'm Jadi and welcome back to Geeking with Jadi, if you're coming back. If not, welcome to Geeking with Jadi. Uh, I'm a programmer and as any other programmer these days, I was hearing about this carbon language introduced by Google, or better say by Google engineers, Chandler, Carut, or something like this, if I pronounce correctly. Uh, I wanted to try it. Just review the documents. I'm not that kind of guy who says, oh, I should learn this before understanding what it is. So I did a quick search, Carbon Lang on GitHub shows up. And that's the main place where you can check what is going on with this new language. It's fast and works with C++. This is the main advantage. Performance matching C++. It uses LLVM, which you should no, you should not, but if you don't know about it, it's good to read about it. Many of the new compilers are working using LLVM. And more importantly, it interoperates with our existing C++ code. It is fast and scalable builds that work with your existing C++ build system. This is the most important features. Its performance competes with C++. And it interoperates with C++ and it uses existing C++ build system. What happens here? If you have a program which is in C++, a huge code base and it's working, you can start adding parts of it in Carbon or replace parts of it with Carbon. Pay attention, we are not talking about calling APIs from two different languages. You can call whatever API from whatever language. And we are not talking about remote procedure, what? Remote procedure calls, RPC calls. These languages can directly use each other's methods. This is a huge, huge advantage. And in the same build system. So if you have a program which is working now, in C++, you can just start adding Carbon code to it. It is easy to learn, as they say. I'm not sure if it's easy for me or not. Rust was not easy. Uh, easy tool-based upgrade between Carbon versions, for sure. And safe, safer fundamentals. An incremental path toward a memory-safe subset. They say why we built Carbon. They built Carbon... Uh, because C++ remains the dominant programming language for performance critical software and many of the current softwares are working with C++. But it's accumulating decades of technical depth. This is a good word if you don't know about it, search for it, technical depth. They created the language ages ago. Then they had to keep the backward compatibility. When they had the first version and they created the next version, they had to be able to run all these programs. So they had to keep it backward compatible. So doing an improvement becomes extremely difficult and they needed a modern language. There are modern languages. Go, Swift, Kotlin, Rust, and many others. And this Google engineer says, if you know any of these and you are doing your project with this, absolutely fine and you are doing right. Carbon is fundamentally a successor language approach. It is continuing C++. <coughs> Especially in cases where you have a working C++ project and you want to start using a more modern language without changing everything. Seamless bidirectional interoperator. This is the most important thing which happens, which lets you to do scalable migrations because you have your current code and you can start writing new code in Carbon. If you are interested in knowing more about it, first you should know that there is currently no working compiler or tool chain for the Carbon language. It is currently an experimental project, may change a lot, but it's good to keep an eye on it. If you want to do so, search for Carbon Lang, go to Getting Started, and as you can see, the environment which you can use to try 
it is on the Mac with the homebrew. You will need Basilisk. Then you will install LLVM. You e export your LLVM path, clone this repository, search for Carbon Language and GitHub, and then you can use Buzzle to run your programs. Let's write one. Before that, again, in the same repository, you can go to the, I have it here, you can go to the docs, and there are different docs. Main part, which I went in the first, was designs. On the design part, you have different design aspects of this language. How classes work, how function works, how generics work, what are the control flows, for example, you can say how the conditions work, conditions work on booleans, so you have to check if this is boolean or not. Not like C where you can say if zero, then something. Here is, you have to say if zero, sorry, what I did, zero equals zero. Whatever, you understood me. Hopefully. Let's write a program and see how it works. Have a quick look to the docs, especially design, and you will see different things about this programming language. And then you can write a couple of experimental things to see how it works. For example, functions. Some people compare it with the Rust, which is totally wrong. The reason they do so is some parts of the syntax looks like Rust, like this fn i46 this returns this function and this kind of stuff but you have to compare it with c++ it has nothing to do with rust as much as i can say on the design level anyway let's write a small program and see how it works what was the getting started if you want to get started write your program and run it with this so I have it here. So I can write a program. I can say Vim. This was in the Explorer. Test data. Jody Carbon. I can write my program here. It needs the package name. Coolum. I'm writing a program to say print one to. 20 and skip whatever is dividable to 7. I will write it not in the best way because I want to use a function and this kind of stuff. Just like C, you have a main function. It returns integer 32 bits. So this should be my smallest program. Return 0. This should work. Let's divide the page. CDW, CD carbon lang, and then what we had basal test data jetty. This basalisk will download some things you need to run your program and this kind of stuff, and then will run it in an experimental environment in this uh, carbon thing. While it's working, I will write some other parts. So I want a loop. We just saw the while loop. You can do a var. So I'm defining a variable. If you want to define a constant, you will go with let. Var i type is i32, integer 32 bits. I can say auto, I think, at least based on the documents. Then I will say while it needs a Boolean. So I say while not i equals 20 continue i'm not sure if it has i plus plus let's test i plus plus so i will have print print with capital and print the uh, first parameter you get let's see if this works run carbon compilation error syntax error unexpected plus so maybe it doesn't have this 
let's try this compilation error syntax error unexpected equal really so let's do one more try fun Control flow reaches end of function that provides a return type without reaching a return statement. This is always good to see the errors, how you can understand them, how clear they are. And the total winner is Ross, the best errors I've seen in a while. Uh, next, let's run it once more. Unexpected integer literal, expecting equal or semicolon where is that compilation error line 9 return 0 oh looks okay for to me equal or semicolon Ow, what is this? Maybe this is it. But this shouldn't be the one. Because that's a boolean and it should work. So we have a function main. It returns i32. And we say we have a variable which is i equals 0 while not i equals 0. Print this. What is this? Return. Not a very good error. What is experimental? So now we are writing all the numbers. Now let's define another function to find out if this is a cool number or not. Cool numbers cannot be divided to 7. Is cool. We say I have x uh, type i32 and I will return a boolean interesting then i will say if x dividable modulus 7 is 0 you need a boolean you cannot have an int here return false else return true let's see what happens if i compile it now normal compile no complaints that you have a function which is not used. So I can here say if is cool number i print this then continue. Now we have our working program program not showing seven, not showing fourteen, and not showing anything else. It's working. So you had a look on how to program with this. It is always a good idea to try new things, see different uh, ideas people had behind their programming language. A uh, famous person have told that, have spoken, that programming language should introduce new ideas. They should have new philosophy. You cannot just change the syntax and create new language. This has a nice philosophy behind it. And for sure, the creators are saying that you don't need to start using it unless you have a C++ project. And even if you have, this is still highly experimental. Just have an eye on it, see how it goes. And if you want to know more, if you want to join them, check these links and you can uh participate more in a arising project in have fun